Mr. Patterson appears by video conference from the Barron County Jail. Mr. Patterson, are, willi are you willing to waive the time limits for a preliminary examination? Yes, sir. Did anyone make any threats or promises to get you to waive your right to a preliminary examination? The prosecution team that you see assembled here today wants justice for James and Denise Kloss and for Jamie Kloss. Uh, shall be in prison, uh, sentenced to imprisonment for life. Count three, charge. Unbelievable. She's 13 years old. And if you read the, the, the criminal complaint, you can see the amount of control that he was exerting over her. And at some point, she found it within herself at 13 years old to say, I'm going to get myself out of this situation. I think it's incredible. Eight in place. You didn't intentionally enter a dwelling without the consent of the person in lawful possession of the place. It's extremely important. Uh, it's extremely important because we are seeking justice. Uh, we have two parents of a 13-year-old who are deceased. We have a 13-year-old who was abducted for 88 days uh, against her will forcibly. Uh, it doesn't get any more serious than that. And I assure you that these prosecutors here, all of us, want justice for both James and Denise, and for Jamie. It's time. If he remains in, in jail, will he be allowed to have visitors? Uh, that's a jail policy. I, I don't have an answer for you. How are the deputies who have been investigating this? Uh, if you think about it, the fact that uh, a stranger would have recognized Jamie, uh, that was because of the work of law enforcement. The fact that Douglas County deputies acted so quickly uh, was again because of the work of all of the law enforcement officers who had involvement in this case. I can't speak highly enough of the work they did. Jamie deserves enormous credit as a 13-year-old, and she has such bravery to have done what she had done. But there were many, many others as well uh, that if all those pieces had not fallen into place on that particular afternoon, the outcome could have been very different. State asks the court to look at the charges themselves. He's charged with two counts, the first degree intentional homicide. Uh, things to say about bail, we do it via motion. The court has uh, reviewed the criminal complaint almost 12 pages in length. I've considered the allegations as set forth. My office is still in the process of reviewing the reports on the case to determine whether or not there are any additional charges that would be filed in Douglas County. At this point, I can't provide any additional information about that. I would expect to have an update on that before his next court date. Attorney Brian Wright. Mr. Kanak, does Mr. Patterson have a copy of the complaint in front of him?